any skill of yours which brings profit to a startup company or a established company will be valued the highest and it is not me saying it's the industry echoing you heard me right if startups can gain profit out of your skill you become irreplaceable and in today's video we are going to talk about one such skill set now today we are specifically talking about protein engineer now who is a protein engineer how do you become one all of that we will be talking and we will also talk about which are the top companies hiring in this domain what is the average salary you can get in india and abroad and how stable this job can be right now to start with you don't have to learn rocket science whatever you have done till your bachelor's and master's level it is more than sufficient now you need specialization okay if you have a bachelor's in biotechnology biochemistry or any related field then you can become a protein engineer now the master's degree is not always mandatory but if you do have it is good for you and generally i will suggest that having a master's degree makes difference do that and it should be specialized you should have a specialization or a project or a dissertation in protein engineering you should learn molecular biology you should um, have expertise in genetic engineering and you should significantly try to enhance your resume with various hands-on projects and trainings okay so this is still the master's level now coming to the next step so as soon as you pass out you will feel a vacuum where there is no job and that is where internships come handy so for example biotechnica has got this great program which for which now the scholarship is also available great scholarship is available the link is given in the description you can apply and that will help you become a protein engineer what exactly happens is under the great program or in fact anywhere first you have to do internship so basically when you do a course the instructor told you whatever and you learned it but in an internship you make mistakes and you learn from it it's like you fall down and and the project guide helps you get up then you fall down again and that's how you learn better right that is what an internship is and that's what great program is all about so don't forget to apply it for that now coming back to the video so when you are doing this internship in a wet lab or a dry lab or whatever so you will gain the practical experience now mostly i have seen that except for some universities where they have a better curriculum most of the universities don't have a outcome based learning program so what happens is they taught you the theory and they never had the practicals intact so now you are like nobody is taking me for a job and that is where you can apply for a internship you can participate in government based research projects or biotechnica also has research projects which focuses on protein structure prediction protein structure uh, modeling designing function engineering and this will provide you a hands on ready made industrial experience on techniques such as crispr protein purification and mass spectrometry so these are the things you need to learn now coming to the next part how do you develop your skills for the next challenge so that you can get a job as a protein engineer so i would like to tell you a story about one of my student who also later on joined me as an employee and then he got an opportunity to become a protein engineer and he like he's right now in germany so he told me once that if you want to become a protein engineer then you need to work a lot on your skill set because once you stand in the lab people expect you to do things they don't tutor you or teach you so it is better to go inside prepackaged with all the skills and that is where biotechnica's iac incubated molecular biology training and internship is available you can take help of now let me come to the skills aspect i will highlight one important thing for every person who wants to become a protein engineer and that is gain bioinformatics tools training for protein analysis protein modeling protein docking prediction everything and you have to develop a laboratory skill also good manufacturing practices good lab practices you have to understand how things are done in a lab in a three dimensional manner molecular biology protein biochemistry and computational biology all of this you should learn and mostly colleges don't teach and that is why 
Biotechnica is here to help you. Next aspect will be once you've learned all of this skill, you need to get in touch with a strong placement cell, right? And that is where Biotechnica comes into picture. You can take help of the placement cell of Biotechnica and get a job in these protein engineering jobs. So you have to, of course, do some networking as well, attend conferences, seminars, present posters, participate in workshops, and all this should be related to protein science and engineering so that you get to meet scientists who are working in this direction so that they can take you as an intern or a student or a job. And then you have to join professional organizations such as Protein Society or the American Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Various other societies are there which you can join. Now, starting with the entry-level positions, you generally see jobs which are starting at 25, 30,000 rupees, okay? And it scales as you gain your experience. It can go up to 8 lakhs per annum, 10 lakhs per annum also I have seen as you gain experience. So a person who has five years of experience in protein engineering can command up to 8 lakhs per annum salary in Bangalore. If we look at Germany or France or USA, then you can talk about 1 lakh 50 thousand dollars per annum salary also. So we have good opportunities in protein engineering. There are a lot of startups which are there in the protein engineering space as well as established companies and some of them I would like to highlight just in India you have uh, of course globally also you have Pfizer, Roche, Merck, Novozymes, Biocon, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, Serum Institute of India. Now these are the biotech companies in India as well as abroad. Now apart from that you have research institutions in USA such as National Institute of Health, you have CSIR labs in India and various university-based laboratories also higher. If you are in India, like I said, the salary package, which, which will start at around 5 lakhs per annum, it can go up to 10 lakhs per annum. And it is not a very highly stressful job. Unlike research, it is a very good job. And uh, countries like USA pay highly. It ranges, uh, it starts at $50,000 per annum, can go up to $1,50,000 per annum if you have the right skill set. Now, coming to the future scope. See, protein engineering is a vast topic and the sky is unlimited. If we have to do research in protein engineering, then we have to learn bioinformatics. And that you cannot deny. Apart from the lab, wet lab skills, you need to be very good in the dry lab skills because that becomes your leverage. See, there are three things you should do in your career. The first is gaining expertise the second is gaining leverage and the third is gaining unfair advantage okay so gaining expertise is okay you gain the expertise through protein engineering gaining leverage is bioinformatics okay and gaining unfair advantage is knowing the people who will hire you and that is where networking comes into picture if you have all these three lined up you're going to make it and trust me i have placed candidates who with salaries up to 12 lakhs, 15 lakhs per annum also in protein engineering space in Bangalore. But for that to happen, you'll have to learn. And once you've learned, you'll have to gain the unfair advantage and the leverage. But once you have all the three, you are ready to win. Because you want to win, so all you have to do is, if you're interested in protein engineering, comment below if what you exactly want from me and I'll definitely try to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon as a successful protein engineer. Till then, keep shining. Take care. Stay positive. All the best.